what is up guys it is jammy dude one and today i'm going to be breaking the norm a little bit and i'm going to be doing something different from all of my other videos so what i usually do on jammy dude one is i play a game i briefly cover you know my opinion on it and then i just dive straight into the gameplay without thinking about it but for this video i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i am going to be giving my first impressions of a game and I'm going to be solely focusing on that. So for this video I'm going to be covering Half-Life 2 update. Basically I'm going to be going through what it has to offer and then at the end I'll tell you what I think of it and then I'll say if I think it's worth people getting. Right, let's do this. Well, end of the line. So, Half-Life 2 update was released a few days ago as of this video, and it is a free mod that you can download through Steam if you already own Half-Life 2. Um, so, what does it have to offer? Well, before I get into that, I just want to say, even though the game is a mod, it is separate from Half-Life 2, so on your Steam library, it's not going to be like integrated into the actual Half-Life 2 game, but rather it's separate, and yeah, you'll be getting, you know, new achievements. Well, they're not really new achievements, pretty much all the achievements are the same, but, well, you have the joy of unlocking them again. For example, this one, and this one, and this one which is probably my favourite. So yeah, in terms of what the game has to offer, well, in this case, what the mod has to offer, it doesn't really change the gameplay or the story. It's the same unforgiving and unnerving like atmosphere else. as the original game. You're still getting the same physics-based puzzles, which can either be quite gimmicky or they can be quite uh, interesting, but, um, you know, they're, they're quite good for what they are. And you're still getting the same silent protagonist. Pretty much the dialogue is unchanged and the characters are unchanged. The story is exactly the same. However, the changes that Half-Life 2 update brings are in its graphics. And even though there's not that many changes, they are actually quite noticeable. For example, there is generally quite a bit more detail in the overall just atmosphere. There's a bit more detail. One of my favourite features about the game is that it has improved lighting. For example, uh, in the beginning of the game, like in the first kind of 10 to 15 minutes of the game, you come across this window, uh, like as you're passing through the station, and there was so much lighting, all the light rays just coming through. It really genuinely impressed me, and I thought it made Half-Life 2 look a lot better than its 2004 original counterpart. It was really good and really obvious. Um, another thing I noticed is that the water effects are slightly nicer. I mean, the water effects were pretty decent originally in Half-Life 2, but here they are more modern and it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and this isn't really a massive change, but personally, um, the enemies and the environments that, that really don't look that good, they look worse. And I'm not talking about in quality, but just it generally feels a lot more unnerving and a lot more creepy. Especially those stupid pesky barnacles. I Barnacles, if you don't know what they are, they are these things that I'm showing on the video right now. They are terrible, I hate them. Uh, when I first played Half-Life 2, they scared the living daylights out of me. But luckily, in the same fashion as the original Half-Life 2, you can do this to them. <sighs> just, it's just the most satisfying thing ever. So, overall, Half-Life 2 doesn't really add anything to the story or the gameplay, but rather, it changes the visual quality to be even better, and... You know, if you ever feel like going back to Half-Life 2, like if you have it on Steam, I recommend downloading this mod. I think it's absolutely awesome, and it really doesn't like take away from the nostalgic experience that some of you may have from Half-Life 2, because I know 
this game is a lot of people's favourite game. Well, at least in like their top 10. For me, it's in my top 15. But like for those people who are kind of worried that it might take away from the nostalgia, trust me, it won't. It just brings subtle graphical changes, uh, but they're for the best. And you just, you'll have the same experience, but just a slightly better visual masterpiece. Uh, so overall, yes, I recommend downloading this mod. It's absolutely fantastic. And you know what? I'm actually going to go play it right now. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next video. Bye.